Welcome to Climate Quickies, bite-sized nuggets of climate goodness from our TEDx London experts in under five minutes. In this week's Climate Curious, we're chatting city birdwatching with the co-founder of Flock Together, Nadim Pereira. Nadim joins us to talk about his journey into birdwatching, how he's redefining the rules of who's allowed to be in nature, and his goals for making birdwatching a staple part of culture. Let's head over to Nadim to hear more. And remember, stay curious. Hello, my name is Nadim Pereira. I am co-founder, wildlife director of Flock Together, the world's most dope nature group ever in history. I myself am the most dope nature person in history. I'll take second place only to Steve Irwin. I'm also a football coach for kids. I'm involved in football in many, many different ways. And I do little bits of dabbling with modeling and and the fashion world too. City bird watching is having a moment because its moment came from a, a necessity, from a need for a great deal of people to have an outlet that wasn't totally extractive, something that didn't cost and take away their, their resources, something that was easy to get to. And I think those boxes are ticked by nature in general. And then moreover, bird watching. Nature is always there for you. Nature is totally free and accessible. And every single one of us, regardless of race, social class, religion, sexuality, whatever, we all come from nature and we can all find common ground there. So combating underrepresentation for black, brown, and other POC in nature is important, definitely because where you are represented, you feel more inclined to take an interest in. And before Flock Together, we do honestly see, realize that there was not much representation of our people out there. But like I say, four years later, honestly, I think we're a bit past that underrepresentation stage. Flock Together has, has, has spearheaded a movement and we are all over nature now. You can't escape us. We are here, taking up space. Um, but what Flock Together wants to focus on now that we're over the underrepresentation is bringing our community's creativity to the forefront of problem solving within the natural world and the outdoor space. Um, our culture, i.e. The, the POC global culture, has always been hugely influential in terms of like pop culture and um, whether that's through music, whether that's through fashion, whatever, we always innovate, we always lead the space. Um, and it's about time that we did the same, um, in the natural world because before now, uh, we haven't had much of a say and the world's in a <laughs> ecological disaster. So let's try something different. My story starts in East London, really it starts on a council estate. If I'm going to be real, single parent household, all these kinds of things, but I always had this interest in nature. It was always there for me. Um, but then I got to, you know, I got to secondary school age and I was going to school in the hood, you know, and being such a nature nerd in the hood, it weren't really conducive to survival on the playground. You know what I mean? So I kind of just took a step back and let that interest, kept it in my back pocket a little bit, quieted it down. But then I just wasn't getting on with school. So I stopped going at 15 years old. So while all my friends were in school, I found liberation in and freedom in nature. It was a green woodpecker was the first bird I saw. And from there, I started leaving my house specifically to look for birds. It was great. And here I am 15 years later, as the number one bird person in the UK, no question about that. I'm leading the most dope bird watching group ever in history. No question about that. First walk, 15 people. And now, uh, most recent walk over 300 people. The massive misconception just to take London because that's my home and it's also a major, a global city. But London is actually home to uh, over 300 species of bird. And it's technically by UN definition, it's a forest. 
because over 40% of its land mass is green space. So London, there's a lot of space for nature to thrive in London. And when we go out, we see all sorts. We see the, the famous parakeet, uh, ringneck parakeet, which are these small green parrots, usually in like South Asia, um, that have found their way to the UK through, you know, the pet trade and whatever in the uh, mid 1900s. They've established themselves in massive blocks. They're beautiful, always a sight to see. So we see ringneck parakeets, kestrels, red kites, buzzards, uh, tawny owls we've seen, little owls. Honestly, the, uh, the, there's no bird you can't see in London, to be honest. And the beauty of birding is even if you don't see anything, which is unlikely, it's just about getting outside with your mates and having a good time. Through Flop Together has worked with the likes of Gucci North Face. We've worked with Timberland. We've worked Asics. We've been in Vogue magazine. We've been in GQ magazine. We've worked with Matches Fashion. We've worked with the biggest names you can think of. Flop Together has at least had conversations with these, with these people. That's all in the name of making nature, making bird watching, making the outdoor space in general a part of culture, a staple part of our culture. And what we work hard to do is just working with so many different access points because the, the, the main issue with that space is that there's been only one in this part of the world. There's been a very, very limited demographic, which is represented, but also which has a say in how to be in that space, right? And it looks very one way. It looks very much like khaki waistcoat, khaki trousers, massive scope, and going on a good old jolly with your mates, right? Which is fine. Do that. It's cool. There's more than one way to skin a cat. If you want to go on a hike in the woods, with your mates, knowing nothing about birds, knowing nothing about nature, you just want to go out there in your $2,000 sneakers, go for it. Go for it. That is fine. But the point is, there are many, many different access points to nature and science and that knowledge of nature, which I have to a degree, is, a, is one part of it. But if you want to access it through arts, if you want to access it through uh Films through football, through uh, esports, through whatever. Go ahead and do that. So, if you want to see how our creativity is going to tie into this conversation, how our creativity is going to innovate and bring some new life to this very monotonous at times space, follow us at flocktogether.world on Instagram and I'm at birdnerdeem on the Instagram. Thanks for listening to this quickie. This episode was created by our superstar podcast team at Telex London. Until next time, stay curious.